Good evening. Two leaders for the South Dakota Department of Corrections are on administrative leave following an internal review into the state penitentiary. An anonymous complaint that prompted the investigation lists six different areas of concern for employees. Kelly Lauren Solig joins us now with a look into the complaints. The concerns in the anonymous complaint range from not having competitive pay to allegations of sexual harassment and nepotism. The writer says people are being promoted because they are friends or family members and accuses officers in charge of attempting to persuade employees sexually. Another area of concern is officer safety and equipment. The complaint that triggered an internal review of South Dakota's Department of Corrections alleges that employees have the cheapest, bottom-of-the-line equipment. It says body armor is not up to standards and corners are cut during in-service trainings that does not provide confidence for our officers. This isn't the first time we are hearing about safety concerns in the prisons. Kelloland News has been investigating the state's prison system since 2016. That's when Angela Kennecke brought you the story of Zane Mathis, a former correctional officer severely beaten by a dangerous inmate. Mathis told Kelloland Investigates then that the Department of Corrections failed to protect him or help him after the attack. They didn't have a process or a standard for anything. They didn't look for risk or like calls for help, you know, so just like a guinea pig. Following that interview, other former correctional officers reached out to Kelloland Investigates with their own stories, including Donald Henderson, who came forward because he was concerned about high turnover and staff shortages. Most of the officers are actually doing doubles during those times to cover those shifts that the secretary said that aren't left open. Um, they are, their spots every day left open, every day. So I, that's, that's why I'm here. I'm not here to try to um, bring down the institution. Previously, Dennis Kamig, the then Department of Corrections Secretary, had said this regarding open positions. We do not leave posts unattended. There may be a time when someone's called away from a post to respond to something that is uh, uh, going on in another part of the facility, uh, but uh, our overtime will show that uh, we fill our posts. They really need to put the entire DOC under a looking glass. The Bureau of Human Resources did the internal review, and after receiving the results, Governor Noem placed Secretary of Corrections Mike Leidholt and State Penitentiary Warden Darren Young on administrative leave. We reached out to the governor's office to get information on what the review found, but the governor's office isn't commenting.